I need somebody to do the AI and make Fantasia sing the thong song so y'all can hear that Cisco is the male Fantasia. Aren't they related? <laughs> no, KC. KC. From yeah. Jodeci is related. No, nah, no. Nah, but hearing when you, yeah, yeah. Like if you, <laughs> baby, that thought, like. Here, you can that, is, now, that is Fantasia. When, that, I'm saying. Now that you can't unhear it. Now you can't unhear yeah, yeah, that. Listen, yeah. my name is Bennett and I am. Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm knocking the When was the last time a current artist wrote a love song? Like that? No, that's not a love song. That's about sex. I'm talking about a, a love, love song. song. Mm. A current, the last love song that actually a man sang. Oh. Uh, hmm. That Tusi? was popular. Who? Tusi. 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 That your favorite song? Who? Mm. The rapper. Well, he, he, he was singing on the song, but... Uh. Um, it's it's latent than in auto tune. But, help us, Lord. But yeah, nice. <laughs> the young the young girls love it. So. They love Pound Town too. But <laughs> oh, so. oh, my Bible pink, my prayer cloth ground. <laughs> what up, pink. Pastor? I'm looking for the scrolls. What up, Jesus? Come save a nigga soul. Come. Too many sinners. Where the Christians at? <laughs> I'm trying to get my Bible scratch. Hey, <laughs> oh, your Bible scratch. <laughs> it's, it's the energy. We, see, we just we just jumping in this oh, week. This is the energy. This is the energy. Welcome to another week of We Sound Crazy. Your boy Fillionaire's in the building. Claude Kelly's in the building. Chuck Harmony is in the building. Bacon for Making is in the building. And What's we are not alone. Oh no. Singer, songwriter, producer, skater, actor, host, and everybody's favorite cousin on who? Yo, they daddy, daddy side. Side. and the not so quiet storm. Not, <laughs> not so, so quiet <laughs> storm. Because because one thing Duran gonna do is Bernard. <laughs> yes, Duran Bernard. Duran Bernard. 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 Yeah. 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 As you can tell, the energy is gonna be way up for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yo, it's good to see you. Yeah, I miss you. Listen, I miss y'all. Yeah, man, it's been such. I just want to say, black men, y'all look great. Thank you. Y'all are beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Y'all look you. rested. I just want y'all to know, and I'm proud of y'all. Thank you. If nobody's told y'all, I'm proud of y'all. I appreciate that. Absolutely. I actually, yeah, your I actually appreciate that. We all the yes. way up. Nobody we, ever be, says We're beautiful that. too. Yeah. Right. We are. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, okay, so listen. So you're in Nashville. Now, now, what people don't know is that we've hung out many, 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 many. Many, time. many. But you're in town because Mr. Duran Bernard is on tour. Yes. Stays on tour, actually. Mm. Yeah, man. Booked. Booked. I was, and I was just here in Nashville. Very busy. Like, a month ago yeah. with mother. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mother being the one and only Erica Badu. Yes. Who was actually one of, let me say that was one of the best. That was a great we were all there. show. You know what I'm saying? Great show. And, great. and great I, experience. obviously I wanted y'all to meet, but now we're meeting here. But I wanted all of us to tell y'all how amazing all of you were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That, that was night. great. That was great, great. That was my that that was actually my first arena tour that I've been on. Mm -hmm. And that was her. First arena tour, really? Well. Yeah, that's crazy. Yes. I didn't we've know done that. we've done spot dates in in arenas, yeah. Yeah. but not an actual tour. And so that was that's dope to crazy. be able to to share that with her because my first gig with her was also Coachella. That was her first time. That was doing. your first gig. With that her? was my first gig. That's year. crazy. Talk about her. nerves. Talking about some. This is your audition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I looked like somebody just yanked me out of the crowd because I wasn't in uniform. Like really? none of that. Yeah. How but, how are you connected to her? Uh. Gosh, ethereally. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Just it's. I was introduced to her at eight years old, and mm -hmm. I, I was always drawn to mm -hmm. her voice, yeah. the the music, the wordplay, yeah. yeah, um, her writing, yeah, uh, how she is able to be herself, mm -hmm. uh, and inspire us. Like she, she is a person that if you have the privilege and the honor to be around her, mm -hmm. she exacerbates. The things that are inside of you. Mm. Ooh. It's like if you want to do this, she's going to like ignite that. Mm. Wow. So I That's powerful. Yeah, man. See, because not not every artist is is as as we say about that life. Right. Not yeah. really about that. Right. Yeah. 
but I get that. And I, I we I've spent minimal time just me even being around you with her. But the the vibe is that she's about that life. Mm-hmm. See, y'all call it a vibe. She's an experience. There we go. Mm-hmm. Much like myself, I'm okay. experience because you know incense is a vibe. <laughs> Them cheap ass LED lights that you put on the corners of the ceiling. You know, that's a vibe. A, vibe. a, vibe. a lava lamp is a yeah, vibe. Yes, a lava lamp. No, <laughs> I we as people we are an experience. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of experience, like like Claude said, I've hung around you a lot. But until I saw your tiny desk, Ooh, I didn't listen. really understand who you were as an artist. Yeah. I knew who you were as a singer. Yeah. But after Tiny Desk, I understood who you were as an artist and what you could bring to what you're bringing to the music business. That shit was crazy, man. Really you can was, literally man. sing it anything. Was crazy. <laughs> like, no, I'm it's, serious. It's top like, five, wow. buddy. Top five. Top three. Ooh. Yeah. And and wait, crazy. wait, 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 wait. Top three. And it ain't the two or the three. <laughs> Hello. Or the three. <laughs> okay. Hello. Because it's it's about who can really deliver the goods. Yeah, man. Better than the recorded version, actually. Because yeah. there's more spirit to it. There's, mm-hmm. there's the spontaneity to it. Mm-hmm. But a, a, a real a real personality and a real take mm-hmm. on things on life. That's what we miss. And it's just like, it's a, it's singers. It's always going to be singers. But artists Thinkers. are few. Yeah. People that Artists. have a real perspective are few. So you know yeah. we're gonna give you your flowers because uh, listen, yeah. you know, we give have me, these conversations. Give me the flowers and the seeds so I can plant my own flowers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, right, right. The, the real talk is that like when, when we're in the studio together, this is the kind of stuff we talk about. It's yeah. like mm-hmm. where where he wants to go and how we can all help each other get there. But not everyone's having those conversations. So we're gonna we're gonna give you a little kind of expose expose of what our conversations really be like. This mm-hmm. is this is what people who love music talk about is how to make it better and what uh, what we're all doing and support each other. But yo, you're killing it. First of all, how you juggling it all? Right. Uh, you know, so when I went on the road this summer with Badu, I was bouncing out of the tour to do spot dates. So I was actually working on my off days. Mm. Um, one of the uh, dates in particular, I did a Pittsburgh Pride and then the very next day, I flew to Denver to meet up with them to do the show. And I got into town, I think, maybe an hour and a half before we were supposed to be on stage. Mm. So I was able to, like, get to the venue, put some on my stomach real quick, get into the, the, the fit, do the show. And then at 5 o'clock the next morning, I'm on a plane heading to St. Louis to get there ahead of time because I had an interview. And I'm doing I was like, It's just, I think the main thing of how I juggle it is I prioritize rest. Mm. Rest I is prioritize good. rest. Yeah. Rest yeah, man. will be your best friend. I tell folks all the time, like, are you not taking naps? Mm-hmm. <laughs> are, and also stretching. Yes, yeah, stretching. You know, yeah. getting, getting some kind of exercise. And I don't ask people, do you work out? No, do you, how are you exercising? If that's walking, if that's doing some jumping jacks, whatever that is, because mm-hmm. we got to keep good. it moving. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so good. good to know now. At, 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 or I would say an early part of your career because that's the people figure out when it's too late or when it's. A lot of time has passed. So the rest yeah. part, that's key. Them naps. Baby, yeah. I'm the nap master. Listen, I'm, I'm the <laughs> notorious NAP. <laughs> listen, listen, Napicus, okay? <laughs> Napicus. <laughs> listen, Nap Jones, baby. Any, any kind of, baby, that's me. Yo, the fashion is crazy, bro. Man, these are my algorithm pants. You like them? <laughs> let's see the socks, though. Yeah, the, the socks. socks. Oh, yeah, so you so close the up so- on the socks? Yeah, the socks. Hey, man. The socks. The socks say... I'd fuck me. Mm. And I do fuck me because I fuck mm. with me. Ah! <laughs> you see? So there you have it. Multiple things can be true at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an empowering socket. Absolutely. You will. Speaking but, of that fit, tell me what you got around your neck. Yeah. Ooh. So this is Rose Quartz. Mm. And I was gifted this by the legendary Diana King. Wow. wow. Shy guy. guy. Shy guy. That's crazy. Diana, Are you serious? And, Di- and Diana um, uh, identifies as they, them now. Okay. And so they came to the show uh, in West Palm, uh, which, by the way, they are reclusive. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. I'm going to, but stepped outside of their comfort zone for me. And it was just so beautiful to see them out there. And Shy Guy is actually one of my alarms. Wow. So sometimes I'm I'm woken up to, oh, Lord, have mercy, mercy, mercy. Like, oh, it's time to get up. It's time to get up. <laughs> That's your alarm? Yes, that is one of my alarms. Oh, oh yes. Because you can, you, you can customize it. Come yes. on, that's, that's actually a record. <laughs> she was like a pop star. Yeah. yeah. I always, I always. Right? But you know what's funny? I always Thanks, said that she was. Excuse me. Yes. I always said that uh, Diana was the Jamaican Tony Braxton. 
Mm. Yeah. When you really I listen, I can, but I can with, with just a little more range. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. It was on the Bad Boy soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Diana King yeah. rolled up, rolled up on the show. She did. I mean, they, they did. They, they did. did. It. That's they did. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So your mom, your mom was a, is mm-hmm. a singer, vocal teacher. Your piano. dad, piano. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your dad is in the industry as well. His dad is awesome. By yeah. the way, my dad is an audio engineer <laughs> god. He's. Yes. Do you know this? Everybody who is yeah. anybody that has worked on the road knows who Bernard Ferry is. So I would love, outside of Diana King, who else have you met that you were just like in awe of? Outside of us. Right, 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 (laughs) right. right. Because (laughs) I got a chance to chat with Quincy Jones. Yeah. Hello. I asked him a question. Mm. I said, what does it feel like to have achieved all of the things that you have, because that that is such a legacy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to know what he had the nerve to say. I feel like I'm just getting started. <laughs> Which, <laughs> what does that leave me to do? <laughs> no hope for the rest of us. No. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. I I met Willow Smith once. Willow, and she she was so sweet. Like I, I was I had on like a, a, a like a. a oversized crew neck sweater, like some yellow shorts. Mm. And she saw me at a, I was at the Roxy because mm. uh, Hydus Coyote was playing. Mm-hmm. And she was there. She was like, I saw you. And I just, I just knew. And she just gave me the biggest hug. Uh, she was just, yeah, I love her. Yeah. Hello. Mm. Her yeah. albums are amazing. Man. She's yeah. got some great music. Yeah. I mean, you have a lot of fans in high places if we're keeping it real. I mean, listen, Badu even said, I'm her favorite singer. That's crazy. Hello. And it's just, to be in a position where you can inspire your inspiration. Right. That's wild, right? That is, it's not something that is necessarily uncommon, but the rarity of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like, um, what are those? Like eclipses. Mm-hmm. So those aren't uncommon. They happen yeah. all the time. We just don't see them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when they do happen where we can see them, it's like, oh, it's a spectacle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of rarity, you're some. Your approach to singing is rare, mm. yeah. In my opinion, um, I mean, every <laughs> I was watching the the cover you did of I like it, the DeBarge cover, mm. so when good. I, when I tell you, everything was in like in the pocket, like everything was perfect. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, he's not in like yes, indeed. It was. Like, this, it was. No, yes, no, no. I'm with you when guy, you're right. This guy, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you when you're right. <laughs> this guy is an anomaly. Like, yeah, man. And and, al- and also too, I would say if I was an instrument, I would be the bass. Ooh. I would be the bass with a drummer's foundation. Because mm. my pot, and the reason I say the bass, outside of my that being my dad's instrument, yeah. I have a video of me at like three to six months old on a strap on his chest and he's tuning up the bass. Mm. And two things. Number one, the bass can hold its own. It can have a bounce to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It can change the direction of how the keys will go, the, mm-hmm. the chord. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you never feel sad. When you hear the bass, it's mm. true. It's like mm. it's true. Mm. That's, that's, you, good. Mm-hmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. Make us mm-hmm. think. Right? Mm-hmm. You never feel sad. You never. When that's you so hear true. The bass. Yeah. yeah. You'll the crown bass. some strings. You'll crown the piano. Yeah. You and will. guitar or a too. Guitar. Yeah. The guitar. Absolutely. Yeah. But the bass. Mm-mm. You ain't crying. Yeah. And it's gonna resonate. We sound crazy. A light is the bloom on the grass. You know you killed that shit. Yeah. Listen, listen. I have to say real quick, something about Seal, real quick, because we talked about. We had yeah, this yeah. conversation the last time I was here. I told him I said I want to make music like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we had yeah. a deep I, conversation, and I got a chance to see Seal for the first time right before I went on tour uh, this summer, mm. uh, and it was like the thirtieth or thirty third anniversary of that album. Wow! I microdosed, as I, one does. I took <laughs> I took a homie who. Wasn't really into him, but you know, it was a date. So <laughs> I was like, and I, when I tell you, I have not wept so much wow. at a concert. Mm. It was just my inner child was triggered in such a delightful way mm. because this is music that my father introduced me to at nine, 10 years old. Yeah. And so now when I was a child, I just loved the melodies and the music and the composition. Now I'm able to resonate with these lyrics about love and loss and life. Poetry. Redemption. I mean, his pen is crazy. His pen is, is, and he's so free on stage Mm -hmm. and good voice. He's walking around like, just, (laughs) oh, just, oh God. And and, and you know what? I just got to say, 
he did two songs back to back that talked about not crying, and yet here I am weeping, <laughs> not understanding <laughs> the assignment. Okay, not nah, seal seal is nah, slept on. Yeah, very much. I, so. I I always say he's the most intriguing person I've ever met. Like yeah. when mm. people ask me that, same. Just his his presence. You know what I'm saying? His the way he the way he carries himself. We told mm. you. We told you. When we, that's how that's how the whole conversation about Seal started was. He was like, so "What's what's like when y'all work with Seal?" And literally, he came. First of all, pulled his Bentley up on the curb, <laughs> drove to his, yeah. Chuck's had a studio, his dope studio in LA called Vanilla Sky. Come on, Vanilla Sky. Pulled <laughs> his his Bentley up onto the curb and was like, "Is this the right place?" And we're like, "Yes, Mr. Seal, this is the right place." Come on, Mr. <laughs> Seal. Mr. <laughs> Seal comes in right and it's just and sits back, crosses his leg. Uh, super rock and roll, right? And she's like, he's like, oh God, it's just been a busy day because, you know, the wife is calling me on the phone about getting iPhones with the kids. And he's talking about Heidi Klum. <laughs> right. We're like, mm. Heidi? <laughs> You're talking about Heidi? <laughs> but then we continue to like, that, that's one of the best songs we ever, like we wrote a song with him that day and he cut it. Never came out. I'm hoping one day it does. Yeah. But he left afterwards and we're just like, did that happen? Did that, did that happen? happen? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did that happen? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, seal seal is an experience. Yes, an experience. yes. Not a vibe, not a lava lamp. An experience. Yes. An experience. An experience. I would say the same thing as I've never met her, but that that's that's Sade for me. I, I want to meet. I just want to. Yeah. Speaking of Sade, <laughs> <laughs> you know how shy I feel about Sade. That is one of my dream collaborations. Mm. Like when people say, "Who do you want?" I feel like Rihanna, Kendrick. Even Beyonce, I feel like those are feasible. Mm-hmm. Like that, that could possibly happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we're talking about Sade, it's like making the yeah, impossible happen. That's yeah. like making the impossible happen. That would be just. And my, fa- I think my favorite song. I was going to ask. I was, what's your favorite? Like you had to pick one. Well, if I'm you, sure it changes. It does. If you noticed in my tiny desk when I do company, mm-hmm. those the those are the sweetest taboo mm-hmm. songs. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. sweetest. That's yeah, yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Every day is Christmas and every night is New Year's Eve. Eve. There's a quiet storm. That's me. <laughs> and it never felt like this before. Yeah, man. That's just ma'am. Yeah, lyrics, melody, Ooh. poetry. The melodies from heaven. Okay. What's yours tomorrow? Nothing can come between us. Mm. Mm, yeah, Ooh. that whole album. That whole album. Phil, what about you? Crazy. Well, it's complicated because of my ex. Mm. Name was Sade. Damn. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. I don't listen to Sade. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the way I was did. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I would say uh, "Sweetest Taboo" when I did listen. Uh, you yeah. Know, yeah. When yeah. you weren't in pain. When I weren't, you know, it just yeah. triggers I some, you, some shit you. that I don't want triggered. I what about you, Chuck? No ordinary love. No ordinary for love. sure. Yeah. I've. Yeah. No, wait, no, it wasn't no, no ordinary love that I covered. It was Cherish the Day. Mm. I love Cherish the Day. And I actually, and I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Mm. Um, I, I, I fused in Michelle and DeGale Cello's The Ending of That Stripper Classic. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. And I sang Cherish the Day over that. Mm. Mm. This is what I mean when I talk about artistry. Yes. By the yes. way, I just want to say, like, Michelle, you know? Michelle could have her way with me. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> she Does she know this? Dude, this, this she this gonna know one, now. This is exclusive right here. She gonna know now. Like yeah. that. Ooh, now that would be another dream. That's dope. <laughs> ooh, yeah, I can see that. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh man, mine changes all the time too. But these days, it'd be pearls. Ooh. Mm. I also got to give an honorable mention to like a tattoo. I've actually wept yeah. to that yeah. song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, she's one of them. That, the, the catalog goes on and on and yeah. on and on and on and on. Because we ain't even at Soldier of Love. Yet. We're not even no. at Soldier. No. no. None of we ain't not at by your side. Right, right, lovers right. Right. And it's funny oh, because Jesus. it ain't like she got like twenty albums, but the the catalog is still so it's, rich, yeah. it's it's so yes. deep, it's heavy. Yes. It's just, heavy. Yes, but nice. see when the quality is there, yeah. you don't need a lot. Yeah, that's no. right. Yeah, that's right. She tours once every ten years. I ha- whenever whenever they go out on the road again, Listen, I, saw, I have to. I saw, I saw the last one. Mm-hmm. Let's let's all make that pact that mm-hmm. we will all be at the absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Count me in. You gotta get over. You gotta get over by that. that <laughs> Please. Gotta, Please. Gotta I've over. never gonna, seen. I've never seen it. We'll She's we'll be there to hold your hand if you need <laughs> gotta support. You know, we got you. Okay. But support. I feel like now that I've had the, op- the the pleasure and the and the opportunity to see Beyonce live yeah. for the Renaissance, I feel like now okay, I can do a stadium show because like, yeah, that was my yes. first stadium concert. Yeah. What were your feelings on the Renaissance, the album, the experience, the whole thing? Do you love the album? So, so I have my top three Beyonce albums. Okay, okay. and Renaissance is number one. Mm. Mm. And then B Day, 
yeah. than the self-titled. If we're talking about which ones that I'm more prone to like listen to, mm -hmm. yeah. Renaissance is so fun. First of all, it's for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's for us. And also, the show itself as I've been told that people said that she looks like she is having so much fun. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. She is yeah. just enjoying herself. She is like really letting, like she's pacing herself. Mm -hmm. Cause I heard like, like the formation tour, like, uh, like Coachella, when she did Coachella, like that was the pinnacle of how hard she would go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, now she's just, she's like in her elegant, it's almost like it could be a Vegas residency type yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 she's yeah. like, yes, I'm here. I'm going to do a little, but I'm going to let these girls do all the hard right, stuff. Right, I've, right. I've done my, I've done my, uh, my do, right, you know? Right, so yeah. it was just in good voice. Mm -hmm. Great voice. Great the voice. mixes were excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah. The outfits were outfitting. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, I was, I was just. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Man. Mm -hmm. I'm mad I went in Nashville. Yeah. Oh yeah, because Blue didn't come out in Nashville. She didn't come no. out. And every clip I've seen outside of Nashville was a, Atlanta was obviously that Atlanta. Lit. LA Ooh. was lit, and I was like, I should have. That birthday show was insane. That's the one. I'm mad I missed that. They said Diana Ross came. Yeah, out. yeah. Diana Ross, and Lionel, I, I just Lionel was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel was pissed. And so I, you know, I can I tell I love me some old people mess. <laughs> <laughs> I love some old people yo, mess. Yo, it pissed me off. <laughs> okay, it pissed me off. In 37 years, I'm like, you asked her for 37 years. I mean, after the second or third, they would think you would just like not. Nah. Yo, she's sure. never sung "Endless Love" with, with him, the Lionel, Lionel Richie. It's the boss. So they never did it at it's like an boss. American Music Awards. Never. It's wow. the boss. Crazy. Come on, make some yeah. put some respect. It's nah, there's all due respect, yeah. but, I'm just, I, but it's also it's also like Lionel Richie. <laughs> yeah. I saw him at we saw him at a stadium in Atlanta a couple months ago, and he was killing. Yeah, him and Billy Joel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It was nuts. I wanted to see him. He was uh, out with Earth, he's out with Earth, Wind, and Fire right now. Lionel Richie. Oh, that's a good fire. show. It's a great. That's a great. Hmm. Speaking of Earth, that, Wind, and Fire, that's a lovely segue. Speaking of Earth, Wind, and Fire. You've heard of them before, right? Oh, <laughs> oh, have I? That was actually my first gig. Mm. When I was 16, my dad wow. took me on the road with them as a production assistant. Not only was I uh, doing production assisting, I was working merch. Mm. I was um, replenishing the buses with ice and wow. taking people's orders. Oh, they had me working. Yeah. But to be a part of the, as I call it, the hive mm. behind the, the mm. scenes to make everything work smoothly. And Tony Bullock ran a tight ship. Mm. He did not play. Mm. So it's crazy. And I remember uh, being at the Greek theater when they played at the Greek, because they were also on tour with Chicago. Mm -hmm. It was them in Chicago. And uh, I, I was uh, the guitar player at, uh, at the time. His name was Vadim. And he got on the guitar and I was in the hallway and I was just singing and just like flowing. And next thing I know, everybody was like standing around the, the barricade of the hall of the stairwell. And even Philip came out and looked. By the way, I had an opportunity to like sit with Philip. Like he was uh, talking Phillip to me about Bailey. Which, by other, the way, he's the other great Philip. Yeah, it's just I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, nah, he it, just to talk to me, give me things like, yeah, this is what you need to do. You need to get X, Y, and Z. You need to take care of this. Blah 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 blah. Just I, th those are my uncles. Mm, I, it, I I never got a chance to see them from afar because they were always right there. That's amazing. It makes Hello? so much sense because that old school tutelage. And, and so is with, in, it's in the live show. Yeah. And so with that being said. I am the first that I know of to work for Earth, Wind & Fire as a teenager and then grow up and then work with them. Mm, crazy. I'll play that for you later. I can't play it on here, but I will play you the song when we're done. That's that you crazy. Did, that you all did together? Oh, yes. I'm gonna give you the whole break. What a flex! Oh, it's what a flex! flex. What a flex! Absolutely. What a flex! What a flex. Yeah, and it was to the point where, and when we were in the studio too, this is another thing why I. I, sometimes I can't believe like my life. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the studio, we're cutting, and uh, it was actually a cover of one of their songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was where they were singing the songs with them. Cause you know that song they did with Lucky Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was what they were gonna do for that project. I don't know um, what happened specifically. I know they split with Sony, I think, mm. but we're in the studio. Uh, Philip goes into the, the booth to do some of the backgrounds and we stopped the take and he goes, how was that, Neil? And I press the button and I go, I think you can do a better take. And he goes, oh, okay, okay, run that back. And I was like, oh my God. Like, my opinion matters. Right, 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 right. Like, right, right, you right. trust me. Like, yeah. it, there was yeah. no ego at all. That's great. That's great. That's so, great. And, and, and That's what? Affirming. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Like I'm really on the right track. Yeah, yeah, for sure. With you having the experience that you've had, like being on the road with them and putting ice on the buses and, and things. Um, in what ways have you been able to take from that and apply it to what you're doing now? Um, well, first and foremost, their punctuality mm-hmm. is nuts. Mm-hmm. So if the show started at eight o'clock, the band was in 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 position at seven fifty eight. Yeah. And they were hitting at 759, 59. Mm. Like, Hello. It was, they did not play. Yeah. Um, the professionalism, mm. the the wardrobe, mm-hmm. um, having certain people in your camp that you know you can really trust and lean on mm. that are that are going to have your best interest, even if you might not have your own. Right. Mm. That. Mm. Like right. those kind of things. That's and good. and my pops being my manager this whole time, like nobody has had my back like him. Mm-hmm. And I and I have people in my life to have my back, but nothing can compare to my dad. Wow. I will say that my first Earth, Wind and Fire experience was because of Durand. So he came to Nashville to work with us and he's like, Well, tomorrow night we're going to a concert. I'm like, okay. And I didn't know I didn't know his father. I didn't even I, I didn't even put the two together that his father was who his father was. So we're just going to the concert because Durand said he got a hookup. I'm like, well, he's, he knows everyone, cool. Why are we <sighs> Standing by the mixing board. That front of house. <laughs> right there. With his dad as he literally live mixes the Earth, Wind, and Fire show. It's crazy. At, I don't remember what venue that was. but It, it was, was an arena. It was, it was an arena. Yeah. And, yeah, at Bridgestone. Mm-hmm. And we're like, and then beforehand, he brought us backstage to, the, to that point. Backstage, everyone is like, they're stretching. Mm-hmm. They're like going over parts. Wow. It's, it's not like a lot. It's quiet. Like everyone's in their own corner stretching and doing like mm-hmm. lunges and getting ready for the show. Then when you go see the show, you see why they're stretching because mm-hmm. them cats. Yeah, it's a show. Shout out to Tigger because go in. Tigger was out there moving. <laughs> Man, listen. Oof. Yeah, that was my first experience with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Was was watching it from the mixing board, like the best, basically the best sounding seat in the house. Mm-hmm. With this guy and his dad, who, by the way, me and my dad have a group. It's called Copy and Paste. Because <laughs> y'all look like twins, by the first, way. First single is called "Stop Looking Like Me." <laughs> <laughs> Literal twins. Matter of fact, hold on. I want to show you just just real quick. My grandmother showed me this picture when I was a kid, and mind you, I had never seen this photo before. I didn't, uh, I didn't remember wearing these clothes. But she asked me, "Who is this?" I said, me. Wow. You see? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's Pops. <laughs> Twins, I'm telling Twins. you. Copy and paste. Wow. But, I'm, but I mean, you see the pedigree mm-hmm. of why Durand is who he is. Yeah. It's like when you're around greatness, to me, to me, it, what it reminds me of is all the artists that became legendary, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had that story. Like Whitney was like, I was just about to I was just about to, I was yeah. just about to I was sitting in Shaka Khan sessions mm-hmm. and my mom was in yeah, yeah, her yeah. mom was in every session, right? Yeah. Sissy. And but like when you get that exposure, as a background singer, first of all, and also as a studio musician, mm-hmm. then it Mariah Carey, Luther Vandross, all of them were in those places where they were around great singers in the in a musical and a business sense. Mm-hmm. It makes you the best kind of artist. Because I think you 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 cut past a lot of the bullshit, mm-hmm. even though it's there. The fame yeah. and all stuff is there, but you see like how it's worked, the machinery of how it's working, and the love of the craft. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's what you're coming from. That's why that's why from Jump, me and Chuck have always been like, "Yo, you are an insanely huge star." Yep, I you, appreciate you feel that. it. Like when you walked in the room today, it was you felt. A star has arrived. The, the star. star. Yeah, you felt A it. star is born. Well, we heard you first. We yeah. heard you. <laughs> right. We heard you before we could see you. Right, right, right. We heard some singing from downstairs. Right, right. Okay. And Chuck was like, well, you're upstairs, so who could be sounding <laughs> right? <laughs> well, Phil, if you're here, then okay. who could it be? <laughs> who could it be? I mean, Chuck, isn't that how? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. We sound crazy. Yo, let's I don't play, think I said that. Let's play a game. Let's play Keeper Kill with Duran. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Because, and let, let and let, let's 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 get let's get deep because you you have opinions. Mm. Um, I don't know where to start. Let, 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 let's let's start easy. Let me right? hydrate my throat, Lord. Yeah. Let's 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 start easy. Let's let's do something easy. Let's do let's do let's do Mariah and Whitney Houston. Keep or kill. Um, I'm going to keep Mariah's music and kill. I'm, I'm sorry. No, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going I'm going to keep Mariah's. 
How am I, how am I saying this? Keep or kill. Well, you know, one got one got to totally go. Oh, one got to totally no, go. I like his twist. I like. Yeah, what no, he's no, doing. no, 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 no. Let him twist. Yeah. It. Twist. twist. I would keep. I would. God damn. Cause I, uh, damn. Cause I enjoy Mariah's music more, mm-hmm. but I appreciate Whitney's vocals. Yeah. Mm. You know, so yeah. it's like that's very fair. Yeah. 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 When you really think about it, like Mariah got like it's a catalog. It's mm. the yeah. it's a yeah. mean and it catalog. runs deep. Man. Mm. Remixes yeah. alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not Baby, yeah. I got that good thing. Like she was on it. What's your favorite Mariah Carey song? Just since you said that, I'm just curious. Hmm. Right now that I can think of, and it's not anything, you know what? It might, it might have to be can't let go. Mm-hmm. Come on, that, that's a great one. Come that on, is, uh, yeah, can't can't let go with the a, taste, and, and we'll taste. and we'll also give a, a honorable mention to make it happen and the heartbreaker remix with Missy and, yeah, and yeah. the Brad. Guess right. who's yeah. back in the motherfucking like house yeah. with two big to go biddies for your mm-hmm. mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you met Mariah? Oh, I have not. I, feel, mm. I, I don't even. I haven't met Mariah, but I feel like they'd get along. Right? I don't. Yeah. I don't know how I would even be able to. Let me like, Facetime her right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> Phil stays ready. Don't sleep. Oh God. He's like, I stay listen, ready. Listen. Yeah. Back, I, to I, keep kill. back to keep a kill. Okay, back to keep a kill. Okay. Keep a kill. Let's go. Uh, Shaka Khan or Patty LaBelle. Ooh. I'm a keep Shaka. Mm. I'm a keep Shaka. There, was, there wasn't even a twist to that. One, right? And I've and I've met both of them. Matter of fact. Uh, my first inter- my first encounter with Patti LaBelle was at the UNCF benefit in 2011. We had just got, me and Badu had just got off a tour uh, and we, cause they had uh, booked her to do it out of nowhere. And Patti and Lettucey were singing New Attitude. Mm. And uh, we were running back stage so we could see her. And that was when I met Lettucey for the first time. But uh, Patti was there and she told me, uh, she said, hold on, young man. And she leaned on me. She was like, I need to take these lubies off, baby, because my bunions is hurt. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, yeah. Take them off. Like, vo- vocally, Shaka for sure. But I think personality-wise, it would, it would probably be Patty. Patty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She definitely has a uh, legendary personality, yeah. too. I mean, but they both do. But also, though, like, Shaka has another, like, I would want to really hear the tea from from Shaka, though, because she going to tell you, regard- like, it's oh, gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's going to be, oof. Damn, I damn. Yeah. That's a good one, Phil. Yeah. I got one. Mm-hmm. Brandy or Monica. Well, Brandy, vocally, personality-wise, like who I'd actually want to kick it with, I want to kick it with Monica. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to kick it Is with Brandy. Is Brandy the good. vocal Bible? She is a chapter in the vocal Bible. <laughs> that's why I, this is why I like this guy. I, I, I like. Shit, I, yeah, that's, she is that's a true no, shit. absolutely, and yeah. the chapter is very vast. Yeah, nice yeah. chapter. However, we cannot Good negate chapter. all these other people yeah. that the Bible came has. Behind. This is my yes. new friend. Y'all, this is. <laughs> I've been fair. saying this on this show. This is my new friend Durant. Thank yeah. you, because she is a chapter. She's she is not the entire book. No, okay. but she is a chapter. She absolutely. Okay, so Brandy's Deuteronomy. <laughs> cool. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> not Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. I love you, Brandy. Okay. <laughs> not not Psalms. Not right. Not or the song of Solomon. I like Psalms. No, no, Brandy's Psalms. Psalms. Brandy's yeah. Psalms. Brandy's Psalms. Brandy Psalms. Keep like her killed. TLC or in vogue. Ooh. Uh, give me TLC. Give me TLC. I, you know, there, there are a few songs that I, I, I that I definitely rock with with Invogue. Speaking of, just a side note, uh, one time, uh, because you know my mother performed at different churches as far as like leading mm-hmm. praise and worship. Mm-hmm. One particular service, um, there was like an after repast or something, not for a funeral, but just after church congregation. It was in the basement and there was a radio that was sitting on a on a counter. And I just went and cut it on and in vogue, you're never gonna get it was playing. And I started dancing in the church. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble. But I'm just <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> But yes, nah, give me give me TLC. <laughs> Jodeci or Drew Hill? <laughs> Tell me what you want. <clears throat> Tell me what you need. By uh, the way, if you I need somebody so to do good live. I thank you. I need somebody to do the AI and make Fantasia sing the thong song so y'all can hear that Cisco is the male Fantasia. Aren't they what? related? No, KC. 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 From yeah. Jodeci is related. Nah, nah. You, but hearing when you, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like if you, <laughs> baby, that thought, like. Here, you can hear, that is, now, that is that, I'm saying. That now you can't unhear it. Now you can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't unhear that. Listen, yeah. my name is Bennett, and I ain't. <laughs> All right, that's so crazy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> What's right with me? What's right? Oh, What's right? Keep or kill, Michael Jackson or Prince? Ooh. Well, if we're talking about when I was growing up, it would definitely have to be Kill Prince because Sherlyn wasn't having that. <laughs> it was, she was not having no sexy My- motherfucker and no if I, yeah. So it was it was Michael in, in, in the household growing up. However, as I became an adult, I appreciated Prince. Mm. And people always want to compare me to Prince and I get that. However, I'm way more of a Rick James. Like Rick is all mm. over here. The niggerish yeah. qualities that he has of him. When you came home last night, <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. I've been fast asleep. Like, man, that's me all day. That makes a lot of sense, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm Rick. I'm Rick. Yeah. A, l- a little bit of Rick. All right, Keep or Kill album edition. Okay. Durand or Wonderlust? Damn. There we go. Mm. See, one of them is post therapy, one is pre therapy. One is more upbeat. The other one is kind of mm-hmm. more, ah, oof, ah. Why we got to do this? <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Wanderlust. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with Wanderlust. I feel that Wanderlust really kind of encapsulated a bit more of a live feel. I mm-hmm. feel like Wanderlust yep. is my embryo. Okay. Ooh. That's my. Okay. Mm. And matter of fact, the reason I called it Wanderlust is t- is a head nod to Wanderland, which was Kalisa's second album. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's my mama's gun. It's my like mm-hmm. I I feel like Wanderlust is that good fight. It's my voodoo. Okay. It's my voodoo. Yeah. Mm. Wait, yeah. Before we get off of this, speaking of Wanderlust, mm-hmm. the Destination record. Yes. One of my favorites. This man literally said. The journey ain't shit, but the destination is lit. I thought that mm-hmm. was just so poignant because <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, it's so fucking true. Well, the reason I said that's because true. a lot of times, you know, people will try to give you your flowers and in the same breath, like, well, let me not gas you up. Nah, bitch, gas me up. I need yeah. all the gas I can because right. this is a long it's journey. It's a long journey. Long yeah. journey. Yeah. You know? It ain't easy. So, yeah. yeah. And shout out to Daniel Jones for uh, those just piecing that song together. Yeah. Mm. Man, and leveled. See? You've been surrounded by by brilliance the whole time and continue to be. Mm. Yeah. Well, we we attract that mm. as well. There's a there's a certain level of like to just be acknowledged, you know, for for the work that I'm putting in. And I and and even just a side note, when people go in about, I'ma see you at the Grammys, I'ma see, I'm gonna see you on that. I have a little PTSD from this whole Grammy situation. Mm-hmm. Because when K. Trinata's album won mm-hmm. his Grammy for best yeah. dance album, and I had a feature on it, yep. uh, a homie of mine said, "Oh, bitch, you're getting a Grammy because mm-hmm. you're on the album as a featured artist." And so mm-hmm. I got excited. I mm-hmm. made a TikTok to my, I'm brushing my award-winning teeth, <laughs> cooking in my award-winning kitchen, and then a homegirl of mine who works on the board of the Grammy said, um, "Not necessarily." <laughs> um, the, the semantics have been changed to where you would have to put in maybe 51% or more into that into the full body of, of the project in order to receive the award. A, an award. I get a participation certificate. certificate. Mm-hmm. So I felt like the rug got yanked up under me for something that I wasn't mm-hmm. even trying to get. Mm-hmm. So it's just like now I'm like, I just want to make the music. I just want to just put out the quality. It, the, if the accolades come, that is amazing because I love yeah. to be acknowledged for my right. hard work. Of course. Right. However, that is not the goal. Yeah, My goal is to touch people in ways that inspire them to be themselves because I had the audacity to be myself. Mm. Absolutely. There we go. Yeah. He's like, that part. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just... I want to know your Mount Rushmore of singers. I'm so glad you asked. Oh, I love this question. <laughs> your Mount Rushmore of what? Singers. Yes. Ooh. So Ooh. I have, so, so I have, they're, they're in sections. Mm. So we have the ladies, we have the gentlemen, and then we have the personality. Okay. 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 Let me me, me get comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So on the lady side, of course, we have Badu. We have Lisa Fisher. Mm. We have Phyllis Hyman. Mm -hmm. And we also have Sarah Vaughn. 
Yo, okay. and we have to give an honorable mention to Jill Scott and Layla Hathaway. Mm. This is a strong list. Oh, very strong. On the gentleman's side. Have B Slade, formerly known as Tone A. Oh, okay. yes. Mm-hmm. You hear all of that up and through. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have Rick James. Yep. Mm-hmm. We got Nate Dogg. I love that. And we got Luther. <laughs> and of course, as an honorable mention of those, Philip Bailey, and of course, the legendary, iconic, incomparable Crash Cut. Crash mm. Cut. If you don't know who Levon Bennett is, that's also E40's cousin. Really? I didn't know yes. That. I know yes. That. Huh. Yes. I'll send, I'll send y'all a picture of that. They, they got a picture side by side. Yes. Uh, and then the personality, yes, Little Richard, mm-hmm. Bugs Bunny, <laughs> Jim Carrey, mm. specifically in Ace Ventura, The Mask, and Liar Liar. Mm-hmm. We have Ricky Smiley, Dave Chappelle, uh, Bruce Bruce, Arnaz J. Mm. I remember Arnaz. Arnaz yeah. J. Sh- yes, he's so physical with his yeah, comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Cheryl Underwood. Yes, I love Cheryl. Oh yeah, I, I love I love your influences. Are also comedians. Yes, yeah. all of that makes oh, yes. sense. That yes. makes sense. All of this, all of it makes yeah. total yeah. sense to yeah. who you are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. You just you literally just broke it all down. I lo- like I love cartoons. Like if I was a cartoon, I would. Or if I could have a, a best friend that was a cartoon, it would be Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny mm. is the best cartoon of all. Time. I know your parents had a time with you and you. <laughs> Man, <laughs> listen, my and you know because I, I'm an only child. Oh, okay. Okay. And shout, I was shout, home. Shout out us. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was homeschooled. Okay. Oh. So. Sherlyn, hey, Sherby. <laughs> uh, she was teaching music in public schools for 20 years, mm-hmm. like fresh out of high school, um, uh, uh, fresh out of college. So um, when I was born, she was she was 41. So I was like, mm, 40 when she had me. That's crazy. Yeah. So I had actually a, a, a leg up having older parents mm-hmm. because they weren't trying to discover themselves. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't in the club with me. <laughs> right. You know? Right. Uh, and because she knew what was going on in, in school, she said, nah, you're going to stay here. And so, wow. so mm. going to going to school, not going to school kept my critical thinking intact. Mm. Yes. It kept my curiosity mm. intact. I was actually able to ask questions. Yeah. I didn't have a because I said so parent. Mm. She actually explained things to me. Mm-hmm. Um, my opinion mattered. Mm. You know, so that nourished my inner child so he has always been here with me mm. oh yeah you're great man <laughs> you really are the because, mind. because 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 sense of self is also rare mm-hmm. like people who are comfortable in their skin and have are able to define themselves so clearly yeah 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 that's 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 a very mature skill to have it takes people 80 years sometimes to be able to define themselves. I mean, like that Mount Rushmore alone just broke down. Yeah, he broke. I never heard the Mount Rushmore broke down that way. Yeah, yeah. straight up like that. And and the other thing, is, let's let's just let's just wheel on back uh-huh. to Nate Dog. Yeah, right. Because we 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 have this. He is a Nate Dog fanatic. Love Nate so he Dog. came here the first time. He's like, "Yo, put on some Nate Dog." We were in here just lit playing Nate Dog for like. Out. <laughs> I forgot what the words were. Cause a nigga ain't got nothing to hide. Don't slip and don't stall. Say it with your chest or not tall. If you're looking, you know where to find me. Cause a nigga ain't got nothing to hide. That's a hook. That's a hook we really wrote. That's a hook we really wrote in the studio. That's an exclusive, by the way. Yes. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Nate Dogg. Shout out to Nate, the legend. We sound crazy. I, I want. I want to have a, a serious conversation about yes. something. Because you do. You. You're not afraid to talk about this online, especially which mm-hmm. is a, the public forum. Mm-hmm. But you have very unique and powerful, strong views about church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And about religion, and I want to give you a platform to talk about that because I think a lot of what we expect from artists, especially in this country, is if it ain't rooted in church. Or if it doesn't come from a gospel thing, then it almost it, it's it's a lot harder to make it. If we're being to be honest with you, yeah. but you've been very vocal. Yeah, talk about it. So I was <laughs> I was christened as a baby. I was baptized at six. You know, mm-hmm. I got saved saved at sixteen because I wanted to figure out my own relationship with God and not ride on the coattails of my mother's. Right. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I got saved at sixteen, like it, it was probably one of the worst decisions I could have made because I started struggling. Like, it's so hard to love yourself when you are in an environment that is convincing you that something is wrong with you, Mm. that there's a defect, there's a glitch. Mm. 
Um, and it wasn't that it was like my pastors or anything that were talking about I'm going to hell because they always loved on me. It was what I was allowing to take place because I just wanted to be obedient. Mm. I wanted God's best. And then when you get to the point where the reality is God doesn't care about you being happy, he cares about you being holy. Mm. Um, and it's just like, this isn't working for me. I remember telling my mother later on in my in my 20s, faith depresses me. Mm. Wow. Having faith makes me sad mm. because it, it gives me this false idea that if I don't have enough of it, then somehow it's my fault. But faith never seems to have accountability. Mm. If I have enough of it, it's still, if things don't go my way, then it's still. You, need I, a, you should have had more. Yeah. Or, and and so uh, I've been also too, I remember asking my mother when I was about like five or six years old, what goes on in heaven? And she gave me the breakdown where, you know, the streets are paved with gold and, you know, we're there with blah, 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 with our people. And we are praising and worshiping God, you know, forever. And I said, forever? <laughs> you know like, like, you know like how we do in church, like it don't stop. And so then I started to kind of like, okay, so they said the hell is a thousand times hotter than the sun. How hot exactly is that? Because this don't sound fun. <laughs> and also just... Just unlearning. One thing I will say, I'm going to say this. Mm. My mother did not teach me what to think. She taught me how mm. to think. Mm -hmm. However, she did suggest what I should believe. Yeah. But because she taught me how to think, that overrode mm -hmm. what she told me that I should believe. Mm. And so now I'm in a space where I can believe in myself and that be enough. So when I tell people, no, I'm not a believer, I'm not religious, I'm not, I'm not even spiritual. I don't even believe in ancestors. The ancestors are not over here rolling around in their graves. Mm -hmm. They did. They did. <laughs> they are, they are, they are experiencing the pinnacle of fuck deficiency. Cause they're not here having to be bothered with none of this shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to tap into myself. I believe in myself. I reach out to my community, to people that I actually have a rapport with that I know have my back, that have my best interests at heart. Mm. Um, and I can come from a space of um, not, not being radical about it. Because when I first switched over, uh, because I get it, we trying to not believe in something that you've been indoctrinated in from a youngin, mm. it's hard to come up out of that because to come up out of that is the unknown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we fear the unknown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. But the unknown excites me. You know, so I'm I'm not afraid of death. I don't want I don't want to deal with pain or suffering, but I'm not afraid of death. You consider yourself an atheist? Yes. I'm a churchy atheist. <laughs> I'm, churchy. I'm, I'm, I am. I am the churchiest, <laughs> churchiest atheist you will ever come across because the culture. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how the, cult, the, the culture. The culture is, is not going anywhere. So here it is. Remember, in what's love got to do with it? When they were in court, and she said, "You know what? He can keep all the houses and mm -hmm. the money and everything. I want my, my name. name. Yeah. yeah. The na I worked too hard for that. So when I think about the artist development, the way I use my voice, how I've learned community, the the, the culture itself, those things I can take with me. But the belief, I don't need it. Mm. It no longer serves me. Mm. And for those that it does serve, as long as it is in encouraging you and inspiring you to be kind to yourself and to others, I don't care if you want to worship a stu double stuffed deluxe baked potato for all I give a damn, mm. as long as it's causing you to be kind. Mm -hmm. And so mm. me believing in myself, because that's what I was instead, my parents instilled love into me. So I always go to them as far as like the root of that. Yeah. So I guess we should we would go on a Bible study when we leave here. <laughs> we, we should, should we, we should sorry un awkward. <laughs> <laughs> we sound crazy. You can be wasting my time. Uh, 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 church. church. Where is Mona Lisa? Where right. is Mona Lisa? You know who else I'm looking for? Who? who? I'm looking for an artist by the name of C Asia. Who's C Asia? She had a song on a movie called Just Another Girl on the IRT. Oh, yeah. And the song called- <laughs> That's an amazing like, movie. And it went like this. When you love, 
When you love someone. That was a good song. And I was thinking maybe because I can't find the song anywhere, I was just going to sample it and see if they would come after me. So I'd be like, look, I was looking for you. Okay, I can take the song down. Can you just give me the original? <laughs> right, right, right. Like, I'm just trying to smoke your ass out. Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to find you. So come after me. That's crazy. I remember that. I remember going to Blockbuster and written that. Do you, do you remember the movie Gets yeah. on the Ground the IRT? Yeah, I do. I, of course yes. I do. I'm about to go watch that, rewatch that <laughs> yes. movie. That's a, but it's, it, I think it's on Tubi. That's a great movie. It, no, it should be on Amazon Prime. Okay. okay. Just so you know, yeah. that, that that's the most New York movie of all time. That's My mother. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> I'm a Brooklyn girl. Baby. Don't know, let nobody nothing tell That's me about nothing. a great movie, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I love that movie. All right. All right. So, Mona Lisa, I want to know where you are. If you are out there, please hit us on socials. Yes. Who's a singer that we haven't heard from in many years, like, that we haven't seen? Tracy Spencer popped up recently. I love Shan that. Shanice found Tracy Spencer and yeah. posted online. Any who's other, who's who, someone that we're who looking that for? That we care, that we want to see. Again. He, said, he said that we care. For. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Specific that yeah. we care you, for. You know, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this qualifies. But Dion Ferris it mm. has some of the best alternative alternative yes. music from yeah. black people, yeah. and we don't really talk about that. Chuck, she she's online. She follows me. Really? She does. She no. She follows. She follows. Us. She that follows was, that was one of my first gigs. I, I, yeah. I, I wow. Yeah, yeah. I would I would agree with that more in the sense that like. She, like she's around, and her daughter is um. What's her name? Uh, Baby Tate. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. Dion Ferris's daughter. They look just like. Wow. Her. But I think in terms of just celebrating people, especially alternative like pop, rock, soul, like she, man, I I know, and they say I'm hopeless. The thing I love about her story is her success was like a big fuck you to Arista Development. Oh right? yeah, How they treated yeah. Her. yeah. Yeah. I fuck always them. love. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Where is Desiree? Desiree. Desiree. Now we covered you got to be on our album, and and we still didn't get her get her out of her whatever cave she was hiding in because we because we were like she approved it, yeah she heard it and approved it, but we never. Hmm. But she's another one, Tracy Chapman. Tracy, I was thinking about Tracy Chapman. Okay, not, Tracy. Not, not, you know I love Tracy. She was just number one. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Oh, just... I love Tracy. <laughs> oh, I love Tracy. <laughs> she was just number one on the country yeah. charts. Yeah, yeah. Luke Luke Holmes, Luke now if Tracy ever comes out of wherever, I'm going to that show. The only person yeah. I know who knows who's in contact with Tracy is Sylvia Rowan. That's the only person I know who can mm. get her on the phone. That's mm. the only person. Mm. She's she's incredible, man. Yeah. Any male artist? Groups? Mark Dorsey. Where's Mark Dorsey? Oh, we can leave him. <laughs> oh, right. Damn. Well, he said what he said. Well, that that <laughs> he's like, he's like, <laughs> we can leave that. Where, wait, where, where's Mark Morrison? Mark Morrison. Now nah, he's in a commercial, right? Like because yeah. he's in some like big campaign for retirement. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay well, yeah, yeah. well, speaking of Mark Morrison, where's Chucky Booker? Chucky's still where? touring, right? Is yeah. it really? Is he? Yeah, I feel like he's touring. He's still doing dates. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 Why you gotta play? Ooh! <laughs> I would consider you one of the leaders of the new school. Yeah, we were talking about that. that. That's a dope name, leaders of the new school. But like, the, when when the people have these stupid debates about R and B being dead or whatever, whatever that stuff is, I I just I just happen to personally know and see some artists that I think are doing the work. What do you think, as someone who's in this right now, is a state of? R and B music, but it's black music. But but let's start with R and B. How do you feel as as you do it independently and as you climb and grow? Well, anytime somebody says that R and B is dead, they're not talking about me because I've never considered myself an R and B artist. Mm -hmm. I am fluent mm -hmm. in R and B. Mm -hmm. I'm fluent in gospel in jazz, mm -hmm. but that is not all that encapsulates me. Right. Because I'm also about to do my rock album. Once I finish this live album, I'm going rock. Like Let's go. it's 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 time. Mm. I I I love Alanis Morissette. I Let's love go. Tears for Fears. Yes. I love Corn. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, 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 Jewel. Yes. Yeah. And Lenny Kravitz. And I mean, just these are our our, our genres of music. Joan jo Joan Osborne. What if God was one of us? One of the best mm -hmm. songs ever. Mm -hmm. Like you know, just that's a great song. Bro. Yes, I love that music. However, I have not really been. Uh, incorporating that into the into my music mm -hmm. and so i kind of touched on that a little bit with destination and vacancy mm -hmm. on wanderlust yeah and, and i think that the the seal cover also introduces a that bit of yeah, that. yep yeah, yeah, yeah. yep like yep. get used to me doing this mm -hmm. right because this is what's coming next yeah that's dope yeah which is why i do the rock version i, I turned stuck into a rock song and i closed that with the show because i'm like i want y'all to know and get used to this because this is where i'm about to go 
Right. So essentially, Duran said R and B ain't shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he's like, it's not no, worth talking not, about. Not worth talking about. about. Honestly, <laughs> real quick, I mean, honestly, like R and B kind of annoys me a little bit today. No, let's let's have mm-hmm. the conversation. I'm, I'm a little me. I'm a little annoyed. It's just we're in this toxic. Everybody's yeah. mad. Everybody's yep. feeling violated. Yeah, yeah. It it's all about sucking my dick and mm. bending this over. And I, and I mean, there's time and place for everything, but can we have some nuance to it? Mm. Mm-hmm. You yeah. asked at the beginning of who, who, who sing, who's the last love song? That, and if you if in R and B you can't throw out five right away, and male and, and male, male artists at male that artists. that are current. When was the last time a male sang a love song, not yeah. sex, right? A yeah. love song. I did. I did. Leveled. You know. I trust you more than I love you. Mm. Nothing you had to force. Mm. Naturally earned. And when you displayed to me exactly just how deep I could barely catch my breath, a moment of catharsis. Because mm. I never knew how high I was until you brought me down. Come on. Mm. And just Come on. leveled me out. And really what I'm saying is I've been moving so fast that I got a moment to be still with someone who I had an effect on in a positive way. And it showed me, oh, this is the kind of effect you can have on someone in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's also about redemption, being brought in, being called in, not called out. Call me in. Not called out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Called in. in. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Poet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I'm, like just, so, I'm like poet. So I was the last I think about, I was the last one that did a love song. It's leveled. No, but 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 for for us to be excited about a genre, you're what you're talking about is that where are my peers who are doing that as well? Yeah. And if you're bored with it, that sucks because yeah. I'm bored. I'm so uninterested. uninterested. Yeah, because who's it, who we say is um on the male side, who's exciting? Anybody exciting? Any of you? Mm. If we're talking about vocally exciting, that's one thing. But if we're talking about the music aspect of it, it's like that's different. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go vocally. Oh, Avery Wilson. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he always gonna take the top. I ain't fooling with you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna take the top, sir? <laughs> uh, shoot. Wait, wait till you hear the song. We're gonna debut it on. We sound crazy. Just so you we know. should debut it. We should yeah. debut a- Avery Wilson. The song we did with him. That's ah! it's called "Kiss the Sky." Yeah, live. Um, J. Ronnell is another one. Mm-hmm. Um, he's actually on tour with me. He's opening. That's who Tamar was talking about. Mm-hmm. Love his voice. Just very full mm-hmm. and crisp yeah. and clean. I love Samo. Samoa mm-hmm. is yeah, dope. Samoa can sing Samoa. 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 Yeah. yeah that, sure. moon, that Moonlight record had me and my feelings. Yeah. Like just, uh, my life. <laughs> but yeah, uh, who else? You don't have to say me because I'm sitting here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you if you want to. But if you want to, don't be, no, but. Trying to think who else? I mean, trying, like, who else? Anybody? I, exciting? I enjoy October London. Um, I would love yeah. to hear him outside of the Marvin Gaye sound, though. I, I've heard him outside of it. Really? Mm-hmm. What Phil, you think, Phil? Stay with Marvin. <laughs> you know what? I can't do it. We sound crazy. What's the worst biopic you've seen? Ooh. The Michael Jackson one with uh, Flex. Flex. <laughs> that was terrible. I'll second that. But that was really atrocious, yeah. bro. <laughs> terrible. I'll they re- that, I mean, yeah. they really did that. They did yeah. that. Like, wait, wait. As, 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 as someone said, a choice was made. Yeah. A choice? <laughs> that was definitely was a cash grab. A choice was, was made. Yeah. Jesus. What's, 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 the, what's the movie that you'd want? Whose career would you want to see made in the movie that hasn't? Which singer? Luther. I wanna, I, I wanna. Why are you pointing like I'm like you? I wanna see. Yeah, I, wanna, I sound like him. Is that what you finally admitted? No. Well, oh. well, we, that's yet to be determined. Okay. But what we do know is that Phil is is actually a part of the the biopic. Yes. Well, I'm doing the documentary. The documentary. documentary. Me and Jamie Fox and Colin Firth. We're producing that. So. I'm I'm curious as to because he was so private. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I'm wondering how much of that is going to be the truth. Mm. How much are they willing to really tell? Mm. You know, because it's because Auntie Luther was like, <laughs> I feel, I feel, no, seriously, I feel like if I had an opportunity to like have some tea with Luther, oh baby, it would have been a key. I could just imagine if like Luther had Evelyn Champagne King and Patrice Russian in a group chat, like just right, 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 just, right. in a group chat, in a group chat, in a I group just chat. Know, like, girl, you hear this song? Like, just <laughs> yeah. I I would love to. I would love to see that. But I would want it done properly. And yeah. also, it, I do wish that they would have done the Little Richard documentary while he was still alive. Because mm, he because he tells the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he deserved 
way more. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. much more. He lived here. You know that, right? He lived there. Right at the Hilton. Right y'all the Hilton. tell me about y'all tell me about that time that y'all encountered him. Like, when I tell you, I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He was cussing everything out. The yeah. dinner. <laughs> His table where he where they had because because the truth is we were all sit, we were actually all in the back together and I was like why is little Richard but he was little Richard making Georgia stand up yeah okay. you feel what I'm saying to you but just so you know Phil 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 don't play that yeah Phil, we go we're gonna it's gonna be an accurate it's, it's, depiction it's, it's, of, it's high bar it's excellent so yeah. good we yeah. gonna we gonna tell the truth and yeah yeah it's gonna, be, gonna honor Luther in the same breath he's absolutely one of my favorite vocalists writers creators. That ever walked this planet. Oh, yes. He asked Lisa, uh, okay, now can you do that note again? And, and can you give me more air? <laughs> Lisa Fisher? Yeah. Hello. I'm like, man, I'm just, oh, <laughs> just the nuances and the dynamics yeah. to know your voice like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The instrument. The, the instrument, instrument, which is why I loved female voices more than male voices mm. because it seemed like women were really utilizing their voices Voice as instruments. Yes, yeah. yes. You had exceptions. You had James Brown. You had Little Richard. You had uh, Prince. And mm. and, yeah. and, 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 uh, uh, and, and and Michael, too. And Michael. Yeah. Which, by the way, you will never catch me singing Baby Be Mine in the original key. It's high. I don't need no... Why are you up there? <laughs> Sir, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> We just started the song. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then modulates. No, no. He, he actually not. doesn't get credit, I, I think, the way he deserved as a vocalist. Mm. I think the showman outshines it, but I mean, the evolution of his voice from little boy to adulthood and, and all of it being legendary, he's a singer. No, him at like 11 singing ain't no sh- sunshine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. No, Nuts. him him as a... Nuts. I will say that Michael Jackson's vocals as an adult weren't touching Michael Jackson's Vocals I as know. a child. I know. Yeah. I, I agree. I totally agree. I agree. Yeah, that kid was singing. He was I mean, singing. I never let you go. Full voice. Yeah. Yes. And 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 with the emotion of, of his adult self. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what did you know about life, sir? <laughs> At that age. That is that is someone that has such a unique experience to life. Not a lot of people will. I don't think anybody could say that they know what that's like. No. Where at five, you five and six, you are a big deal. Like you are a star yeah. mm-hmm. to the point where you have to rent out a grocery store so that you can know what it's like to go shop. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like yeah. and he's up here scooting around on the on the uh fucking. <laughs> Car talking about some. Oh, it was like being at the amusement park. Like, <laughs> wow. But that's what, and that's why I'm so grateful of the trajectory of my career is because it's been, like I said at the end of Destination, I'm a slow burn because I'm the sun, not a match. Mm-hmm. And I've been able to, at each level, I've been able to get acclimated with how things are. It wasn't just like a that, right, right, you yeah. know, or. Or like a Lil Nas X where you drop an old town road and six months later, like it's just, mm-hmm. yeah. you can't go outside no more. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I'm glad that I'm, but also Tiny Desk definitely was that drop of nitrogen. The mm-hmm. change thing. In, yeah. in, my, in my career gas tank to where it's like. I mean, you got security now. That's what I'm saying. It was, it's, and it's so sexy too when folks be walking up on me and, and he right there and they like. I'm like, yeah, get them. <laughs> Cause I'm small, like niggas be like grabbing on me. It's yeah. just, and I'm a people person. I love people, yeah. but it's like when you just come and start violating my space and you want to tell me how much you love my tiny desk, but now I got an attitude because you didn't even ask. Right, you could right. just come and put your fucking arm around me. Right. You know, yeah. so it's just, I still am a human being. What's the, what's the uh, most awkward encounter you've had with a fan so far? been like too too awkward that I can think of off top. Mm-hmm. It's just been a just a multitude of people just really being excited to see me, and mm-hmm. I get it because you see me so much just on this thing mm-hmm. and on the screen that when you see me in real life, it's like I have to touch you. Yeah, it's, I have yeah, to know real. that you're that mm-hmm. you're real. Yeah, yeah, it's not AI. Mm-hmm. And my thing is, this is not social media. You can't. Click on me and drag me somewhere. <laughs> like I'm not a file. <laughs> you can't click on you me. You know, not without permission, at least. You know. <laughs> Yo, have you ever had? Have you ever been? What's your worst celebrity experience? Oh, and this is very light. Okay. And I really don't even know what I was thinking. Like I just sometimes we're just not thinking. 
So I got a chance to see Mary J. Blige. Not Mary, Lord. I love Mary. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why I'm blocked on Twitter right now. She blocked you? I don't know why, but this was not back then. This was years ago. This is back when Tony Scruggs was singing background for her. This was back in like 2011, 2012, because I still had hair. And she was coming, coming back, you know, and I was in the hallway and I was like, Mary, I just want you to know, I was like, I love the show. I was like, it was amazing. I was like, I don't know if you saw, but I did a cover of Crispy Chicken. She said, excuse me. I said, I, 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 I love the show. It was, it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Oh, shit. Um, uh, it was, <laughs> that, that, I, I'm going to reprimand your ass now. Oh, God. Now, oh, wait. You, I was 23. This was over 10 years ago. Oh, like, this nigga I've already, I already got spanked enough just from the look at her. Like, Excuse me? Not 411. Not my life. Not share my but world. Not be without you. Nothing. Be without you. <laughs> nigga, crispy chicken. Yo. What's, in the, what's in the chicken wrap, nigga? That's what the... I was so embarrassed. And you know what? And I think the reason why I ended up getting blocked on Twitter is because that cover resurfaced. It's still on YouTube. It resurfaced and they probably were tagging that Mm. her account on. I want to see this. (laughs) You know what that means. Crispy chicken. Oh man. Oh my god. Crispy chicken. I'll get it to it. Crispy chicken. Crispy chicken. Yo, you guys wait. Oh, first. Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, three cheeses, ranch dressing wrapped up in a tasty flour tortilla. Crispy chicken wrapped up in a tasty flour tortilla. Wait. Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce. This shit go though. <laughs> Yo, go. Listen. Wait, wait. Crispy chicken. Wrap the banana. Wait, listen. Crispy chicken. Like, going in. Wait, hold on. <laughs> she blocked him. She blocked him. <laughs> she blocked him. But the funny thing is that I, was, I just sent you this clip of pink. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh how, yeah. You see, the clip is going viral now of Pink talking about how she was at like some Soul Train Awards way back in the day, mm-hmm. and went into she said she went into Mary's trailer like, Mary, I'm just such a big fan of yours. I love you. Would you ever? Would you ever do a song? And Mary was like, No. And she and Pink exited the trailer, and that was it. <laughs> I mean, listen, you set yourself up when you ask. Yeah. That Mary told Pink no, yeah. no, no, ma'am, no, no explanation. No, just, she was like, no, no I'm not no. doing it with you. No, the answer is no. Yeah, oh, man. so I've always wondered, like, with that, the whole crispy chicken thing, right? Oh, the Burger King oh, thing. God. Like, okay. did, we, 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 gonna, we we gonna unpack this more? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> right. that always go ahead. No, because I he said like, go ahead. Did, no I, got, one, I got something. Didn't know. <laughs> you can't tell anyone how how to feel right. about certain things, right? Well, my thing is, is like, okay, you recorded it, you did the commercial, it actually came out, and then now it's a problem. Like, if it was so bad as you were recording it, like, did we not? I mean, because stuff? wasn't wasn't like Al Jarreau and Vesta Williams up here about about fucking McDonald's yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would say in defense of Mary okay. that... Mary does not work alone. Okay. It's a big team of people. Um, and I'm not saying that she's not the final say because she's definitely running her shit. But what I'm saying is like sometimes in the speed of mm-hmm. a run, and she's had many yeah. of those runs, and, and corporations are coming at you, and the song is a hit, and you're doing the Pepsi commercial over here, and you didn't think too much about that one. That one did well. And you had the Gap one. That didn't, do, that, that didn't do too badly either. And then Burger King comes, and they call you. It, it, it moves quickly. Yeah. And I feel like there's so many commercials that are terrible that fly by that you never really know if it's going to be your commercial that becomes yeah. the yeah. one that people are because every I mean every every athlete's doing McDonald's and 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 Sprite and everything. It's, it's not like it's she's the first person to sing about chicken, right? Right. And it's not even that it was necessarily off brand with the album she was doing. It was just the timing was just I don't know how the timing worked out in mm-hmm. that way, but it was just disastrous. I it, just it brought many a laugh. I just I I, I was personally tickled. yeah it's it's just. <laughs> I blame her ex-husband. Mm. Shame on Allegedly. Ken. Ken don't. Shame Allegedly. on him. Ken don't. Ken don't. Which is Ken don't. Which is why she does not do be with you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And if you go on 
Spotify, it says Kendu's Kendu version. Yeah. Which, which I think is just the salt in the wound, right? Yeah. <gasps> Niggas ain't shit. I love Mary, by the way, y'all. I love what Mary. What are talking about? Mary is the queen. Yeah. I love we love Mary. Mary. You love Mary. Because how can I love, love somebody, somebody else <laughs> if I can't love myself? By the way, I want to tell you, too, to I, I have another uh, Mary experience, not with her personally, but just with her music as a child. Mm. I remember one time a, a young, I think maybe six or seven year old Durand was in children's church. <laughs> children's sitting church. Sitting around the table. And I just bust out, started singing. I was your lover and your sack was Harry, Working every day of the week. And they was like, excuse me? If it's not about Jesus, you don't need to be singing it. And I'm like, well, I thought you said we should share what we had on our hearts. And so you, you shared not gonna cry? I shared not gonna cry. <laughs> you you were you were it. scorned. You were Angela Bassett scorned at that Man. young age. You know what I'm saying? Why? Oh, so I'm gonna tell you too, speaking of Angela Bassett and speaking of Wait and Exhale, I um, I was at the gym and this really cute guy came up to me. We were talking. We had actually been um, messaging via IG and we decided to hang out. So I told him to come by and he came by and we decided to uh, do shrooms. Mm -hmm. And so in the midst of us doing the shrooms, I'm playing music and Way You by Shantae Moore comes mm -hmm. on. That's shout out to Shantae. That's shout Shantae. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I noticed that he did not react. And so I said, do you know this song? He said, no, mind you, he's 27. But, but I don't want to, I don't want to give age too much because we got little old people too. Right. 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 So it just depends on what your environment was. I said, you've never seen Way Next Hell? He was like, no. I said, we're watching that right now. So it was the first time that I ever watched that movie on shrooms. And when I tell you watching that on shrooms as an adult, like it, the scene when Angela was taking out stuff, he was really having a moment. He was like, wow, this is intense. I'm like, I know, just stay with me. I'm gonna hold your hand. <laughs> He's like, wow, because we're all like crying and just, and it's just, what happened to the music? This is supposed to be a party. And then of course, when 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 Wesley and Angela meet and they have that whole moment, yeah. and it was just like the that the moment. That moment. Ooh, such a good that one. the soundtrack mm -hmm. and for Babyface to have writer's block for that album, right? He was shooting, shooting and for that, about that, about that. like for it was amazing music. Yeah, that's, amazing. that's one of the best soundtracks of all time. Ever, ever. Yeah, that was contraband in my house growing up. I just want to let you know. So I was sneaking taps. So you weren't allowed to play separate wow. music at home. Mm -hmm. It was it was gospel and jazz. We had a little bit of new age music. I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, a uh, compilation album back in the 90s was called Pure Moods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And they had a, a, a commercial. Enya. No, that was Inya. Enigma. Enya was a sail away, sail away, yeah, yeah. sail away. Yeah. That was the shit that I was listening to at eight, nine years old. Yeah. You know, Keiko Matsui. <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, Deep Forest. <laughs> song at their concerts. Really? Yes. Is that the one you played as the Sweet Lullaby? Yeah, he played, yeah, the, he played, I played the whole album. I played the whole Savannah Dance, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. Oh, they, wow. Oh, like Shout out to my mother's herb guy, Darnell, who got her hip to this. <laughs> <laughs> I say herb, I mean like he was getting hip to, you know, Ginkgo and yeah, St. Yeah, John's yeah. Ward and all that shit. He said so, shout yeah. out Darnell. Darnell, yeah. Because he's, hey, he's the one who introduced me to Badu. Okay. He was like, "No, let let him listen to that. She cool." Really? Yeah. And I'll ne I'll never forget the day my mom took me to go get Baduism. So, um, despite the secular ban, Badu was the first secular artist that my mother let me listen to. Wow. And then to be where you are with her now, that's crazy. That's crazy. Full circle moment. And it wasn't even I reached out; she reached <clears throat> out to me. Mm. We sound crazy. Give me your gospel, Mount Rushmore. Oh yes, so of course Kirk Franklin is up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rich, Uncle Rich, Rich Smallwood, mm -hmm. uh, Tone mm -hmm. when he was Tone. Uh, ooh, ooh, uh, uh, what's my girl? Uh, is it Tina Watkins. Uh, I think it's Tina. Watkins. They're probably the Tina Watkins that they can probably sing her ass off. Right oh, there. oh, Sonny <laughs> Hawkins too. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Sonny Hawkins was singing. Ah! You just want Tremaine? You just want Tremaine? Yeah. Tremaine? Uh, yeah, them Hawkins. Okay. But Sonny Hawkins. He said them Hawkins. <laughs> them Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. Them, them, them Hawkins. Them Hawkins. Um, them Hawkins. And I will say that I've been indirectly 
influenced by a lot of people that I didn't know, like the Clark sisters. Mm -hmm. I wasn't raised on the Clark sisters. Mm -hmm. Um, But when I got into theater and we would do like gospel productions, Mm -hmm. Praying Spirit or their version Mm -hmm. of that would be in there, which I loved. Mm -hmm. Um, We love Obama and Gilead, Mm -hmm. you know. Medicine Um, used in the Bible days. Mm -hmm. That, um, who else? Is there another? Oh, and of course the gospel Beyonce, Yolanda Adams. (laughs) It's been too long, it's time to change. (laughs) Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Phil. Just tell me why you ain't got to make it for yourself someday. Come on, oh, 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 and Kira Sheard. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm forgetting. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Can you on the podcast not too long ago? Was she? <clears throat> now, hold on. Now, that, now, that's the gospel brandy. Mm. Mixed with oh. a little Mary J. Oh. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, the see gospel it. brandy mixed yeah, with a little I, Mary J. I can see that. Phil, I want to ask you if you agree that Yolanda is the gospel Beyonce, as Duran just so eloquently Vocally, yes. Eloquently that's a, that's a... That's the gospel renaissance. Mm-hmm. They, got, <laughs> <laughs> they got H-Town in common. They both they from Houston. They got H-Town in you know? common. So it's, it's, uh, it's not a stretch. I, I think B would be flattered. That's right. good. Yeah. And Yolanda follows me too. Hey, Yolanda. She's amazing. Yeah. Nah, She's I, amazing. I love her. I would, listen, when I saw her knowing all the words to stir fry... <laughs> <laughs> <That's so good. laughs> Yolanda seemed like she had a good time. For real. I love it. Yeah. So, so oh, 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 and of course, even though she's still on... Kim Burrell stay in timeout. Like stay Kim in. stays in timeout. Burrell, love her. Kim <laughs> stays in timeout. Yeah, she's always in timeout. She always put her foot in her mouth. But like that does not negate her gift. No. Yeah. So so she won the best. So yeah, I was gonna say that. How do you how do you balance it too? Like so obviously she says things that are offensive to mm-hmm. you, but you're still able to acknowledge. Oh yeah, the gift. Yeah. Well, if we if we got rid of everybody that was problematic we probably wouldn't have any art. Yeah. Right. It's true. So we kind of have to, I'm I'm able to separate yeah. the the artist from what the fuck they're saying. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, that's just me. Everybody Same. can't do that, but I can. Yeah. You ever met Brian McKnight? I have not. I know his son, though, uh, but Brian McKnight Jr. Oh. Yeah, that's the homie. <laughs> Why? He has an issue with him. I, mean, I mean, well, we heard that, you know, Brian, Brian m- m- listen, Mr. Knight is, he kind of being like, Funny style, <laughs> like he's just yeah. He needs a, he needs a timeout. <laughs> yeah, we Brian, still love him though, but you need a timeout. Brian, sir. timeout, McKnight. Yes, Brian, Brian timeout, out, McKnight. McKnight. <laughs> yes. Now you all are seeing the light. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Let me ask you this: You've been on this musical journey for some time, but you choose to stay independent versus going with a major. Mm-hmm. Please expound why. I I'm just looking for for something that is fair. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for whatever deal is fair. I'm not anti-major label. It's just because I'm a middleman right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm not somewhere where it's like a Justin Bieber, Rihanna level where if I signed a 360 deal, it would benefit me. Nor am I someone that is in the middle of nowhere with a mm-hmm. guitar and a great voice trying to get discovered. Right. I've been doing a lot of this groundwork on my own right. and utilizing my village and my, and my community yeah. mm-hmm. to help me. So a lot of times when I would think I would want to do that, people that are signed as well as people that are behind the scenes are telling me, Duran, don't do it. Mm-hmm. They're like, rely on your fan base. And so far it's been it's been good. But however, I'm I'm as long as they can come with something that is fair for everybody involved, I'm down. Mm. I am down. Fairness. Yeah. Fairness. Fair. Just let's be fair. That, that's fair. That's, right. fair. that's, you fair. Know? that's fair. fair. But just, you know, you see a lot of chatter online about people wanting to just prefer to stay independent. I think there's value in both. I mean, mm-hmm. you're sitting next to a guy who works in a major label. Right. Uh, you know. <laughs> and also, too, the, the ops. The, 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 but also, check this out. I have leverage. Yeah. Because, see, I own my name. Yeah. Mm. Come on, Tina. So they would have to lease that from me. Correct. Mm. I own my masters. Mm. You know, so I have a lot of leverage that some artists do not. Right. So you can't really get over on me like that. I know I've loved the fact that, like, I followed you since, probably since before that video that we played, early <laughs> 2010s. But I really am sorry, Mary. I, you know, I love um, you. <laughs> Can't believe but that. the thing that I've admired about just who you are, your brand, just your whole movement is that it's been an organic, like you've been brick by brick. Yeah. And there's something to be said about someone like yourself who you started out where you were and you're now able to go on the road and pack out venues. Mm-hmm. That is, that's amazing to me. And I always say, whenever I see you on TV or whenever I watch the I Like It performance, I'm like, this man gonna be around for a long 
yeah. time. Yeah. Like 25 years from now, we'll be talking about you. <clears throat> I, 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 I believe that. I really believe that. And I'm just, I'm what, I'm 18 years in. So crazy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. What advice would you give other independent artists? Hmm. The company you keep is very important. Mm. The people that you have in your in, in your immediate circle is very important because also you can't do it by yourself. Yeah, that's, that's true. There is there is such beauty in numbers when you can connect with people that can see the vision mm -hmm. and not trying to necessarily change you, but enhance what's already there mm -hmm. to sharpen what's there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very key. And also remain a student. Yes. Remain mm -hmm. a student mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the craft. If this yep. is something you say that you want to do and that you love because we, because technology has made it so easy for anybody to just get a laptop and a microphone and okay, I, I, I feel like, you know, being an artist today, yeah. you know, so it's just, Take that shit serious. Yeah. You know, and we can tell. Those of us that really live we and know. breathe this, we you know. know, we can tell when we you're know. perpetrating yeah. or when you're just trying to do it just because it's something cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and and for a lot of us, this has saved our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This has kept us from... Yep. Seriously. True shit. So I, I love the advice to aspiring independent artists, but I, wanted to, well, I want you to give advice to that 16 year old that was out with Earth, Wind and Fire, what would you say to that 16 year old Duran based on the journey of life, music? What what would you say to that young 16 year old? Mm, no, I can't sit your ass down and just, you know, <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing a lot of this. <laughs> but um, really like love yourself, love yourself. Like, cause there's gonna be folks that don't get what it is that you're doing and they're going to try to dim your light because they're not sure of themselves. Wow. Mm -hmm. Or they see you and they see, man, that's what I would like to do. Mm -hmm. But because I'm too scared to do it, I'm gonna try to stop your yeah, shine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's so, some real talk yep. right yeah. there. You know, it's it's so and it's so easy to get caught <clears throat> up in what the neighbors think or what these folks think. It's like, what do you think? And the fact that my parents have been supporting me in the way that they have been, it is the fact. I got to say this too real quick, and this is just black men, period. Your sons need to be loved on. Mm -hmm. Like for my father to always tell me that he's proud of me, mm. even without when I was working at my job as a, as, as a dishwasher, it's like, man, I'm proud of you for, you know, having your gig. Mm. Or when he came to my apartment out in LA, and mind you, I got a studio apartment. This ain't no house. Mm. But he came in, he was like, you did all right for yourself. Mm -hmm. That is, I feel like I can go lift a fucking car mm. because of how my father has always told me he's proud of me. Yeah, Like they just, they love on me so much that I feel invincible. It's a blessing. Mm. I yeah. feel so invincible. And because of that, I feel it is, it is my duty to share that. I am nothing but a continuation of who my parents were to each other and to me. Mm. It has been very consistent. And while we might not have always understood each other, there was never a moment that they were going to throw me away mm. because they didn't understand. That's good. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's love. That's real yes, love. Yes, it's uncondi unconditional. Unconditional love. I, I know what unconditional love feels mm. like. And I know that some people would argue we are incapable of doing that because there's always going to be conditions. Mm. However, because of how we decide to show up for one another, as a parent, I have a group chat with my parents. It's called the Tripod. <laughs> and y'all be cutting up. In we that be group. cutting up. Yeah, I know y'all be cutting up. My mother up. be sending memes like, "Why are you on TikTok?" <laughs> <laughs> and also, they're very like progressive and and with with technology because my mother they they did not buck technology. Mm. The first four years of my life were documented on video, wow. and that was my mother. Which is why when my therapist asked me, "Can you write out your very first memory up until now?" and I said, "Well, that's going to be an issue because I don't know what I genuinely." remember on my own accord versus what I've had access to all my life. Mm. Yeah. My first birthday, the first, my fir when I first started walking, my first words, Yeah, you know, all that stuff. Like I have that, I have access to that. You've been very open about therapy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's helped you, right? Man, I will say outside of me getting into therapy professionally in 2020, Badu was my therapist. Really? Mm -hmm. Devette Singletary, rest, she was my therapist. You know, I had people that, elders, mm -hmm. that saw potential in me mm -hmm. 
And because I'm a sponge, I did listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They they didn't toss me to the side. It wasn't, oh, you don't know what you're doing. No, they rang me at, hey, get your ass over here. Yeah. You know, in a loving way. Yeah. yeah. Critique me with kindness. Don't embarrass me. Yeah. Right. Don't embarrass. Don't, don't embarrass don't me. Don't embarrass. Yeah. You know, and that's mm -hmm. why I I as a as a son of a teacher who is now a teacher, but I'm also a student at the same time. Always a student. Mm -hmm. Always a student. So I have to remind myself that when you are teaching people that we need to leave guilt and shame out of the curriculum. Mm. For instance, I have now abandoned, when someone tells me, like a homie of mine told me, I've never seen Crooklyn before. I didn't go. <gasps> <laughs> Although inside you wanted to. I did, I, I had to stop myself. So instead, I, and I did, cause I went, I was like, when do you want to watch it? Mm, yeah. That's it. Like all that extra shit, it's really unnecessary because it's it's a, it is a, what is the word? Um, when you are expecting other people to have the same experiences that you mm -hmm. have yeah. and we don't, but that's the beauty of these recordings is that yeah. we can revisit them at any right. time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So instead of beating somebody up about why you haven't introduced it to them. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Just like I did with Waiting Excel. You never seen Waiting Excel? We're watching it right now. On shrooms. On shrooms. <laughs> and now you have this experience. You're like, wow, I get, I get it. Now I get the references. Mm -hmm. You know? You still cool with Ari? Yes. Ari Lennox and him are really good friends. Oh, that's dope. That's my yeah. baby. I met I, we met each other over 10 years ago in DC in 2010. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back when she was uh Coke Court. Courtney Salter, actually. Courtney and, Salter. Yes, and her no old, no relation to Sam Salter. That her old, her old manager really tried to pull a fast one, and he trademarked her name, her legal name, which is why she wasn't able to go under that moniker anymore. Whoa, 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 wait, damn. Hold on. So she was going by her legal name, Courtney Salter. Yes, that was her artist name. Yep. And her manager. Mm -hmm. Repeat. He trademarked her name, so she was not able to move without him. And that's why she goes by Ari Lennox? And she's never gotten that name back since? I don't, I don't know. That's crazy. But it's the fact that she Shit. got this new name and like a phoenix rise up yep. by her motherfucking ash. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I know he eating his motherfucking heart out. Mm -hmm. yep. I know he is. So I'm that I'm extra proud of her for now, that. We love Ari Lennox. Yeah. 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 She'd that's be, that's she's and she she'd she'd she's so goofy. It. Like when I think of me and her, I think of like peaches and herb. I think of Rick and Tina. I think yeah. of mm. you know Tammy and and, and and Marvin. Like it's just we. <laughs> y'all you know, should definitely have a, a TV special. Absolutely, just cutting up. I love Stuck. Stuck is a jam. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just wondering because that it's a good friendship, and I think I mean y'all not like hiding it, but it's a good colorful friendship. Like, yeah. And I also think the, that the the artist. Real artist friendships should be on display. Yeah. Because there's so many people that are just shady and, and not mm. real friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then speaking of that too, just a aside, I have no issue collaborating with anybody who inspires me. Mm. It don't matter if you got 300,000 followers or 300. If yeah. you come ready and the shit inspires me to sing, I'm on it. Mm. I'm That's on good. it. Guru, you gonna have to set up for us afterwards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go on there. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, you stay ready. You stay, stay ready. ready, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Stay ready. We sound crazy. So outside of music, what's next for Duran Bernard? Uh, well, I'm well. It's still music related, but I'm also DJing now. Okay. Yeah. Ask me what my DJ name is. What's your DJ name? My name is. DJ TBD, a.k.a. Bra Coley, no relation to the late, great Daryl Coley. <laughs> and the TBD stands for the best DJ. Not that there aren't extraordinary DJs that have paved the way. It's just that now that I am on the scene, I am the best. Okay, better than all the rest. Okay, so come check on my breast and my tiny desk. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to say the whole thing, you know, like a pimp named Slickback. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Or a question. That's the whole thing. What is wrong with you, yo? <laughs> Are you? What did you? What planet? I'm my mom and daddy's son. That's what I know. We sound crazy. The Esther Roll Award.
know who that is? That uh, voice? Uh-uh. That's the role. Florida Evans. Florida Evans. Damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> that Esther Roll, yes. yes. So she did a gospel album in the set. What year was it? 70, 75. 75. Yeah. On Savoy wow. Records. Savoy, a spoken word gospel album called The Garden of My Mind. So wow. Timon over here. <laughs> Timon ball. digging in the crates, bacon, <laughs> right? <laughs> Put us onto it. So we're like, yo, we, we did not know that she had an album. So it got us talking about how there's so many artists and enter- black entertainers that don't really get the love they deserve for who they were because sometimes... We just we overlook people that deserve a lot more praise. So we decided we're going to do it here. Mm-hmm. So every episode, we all individually nominate someone for the Irby. Mm-hmm. And then we vote, and we see who wins. Okay. So now because you're part of the team, yes, you're part of the vote. Marvelous. Who wants to start? I'll kick it off. Go ahead, Phil. We uh, touched on him a little bit earlier. I feel a little bit of his uh, energy through Durant. Ooh. Okay. I'm wearing a Motown sweatshirt this episode. He was mm-hmm. signed to Motown Records. Amazing writer, producer, performer, just a, a brilliant genius individual. Rick James. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. Rick James. Oh, yeah. Rick James. My honor, no, it's not my honor, my nomination. Your this nomination. Week, this week for the Esther Roll Black Excellence Award. Ooh. Who wants to go next? Anyone? Anyone? I'll go. Go ahead, um, go ahead, go ahead. So during the conversation with Daryl Simmons the other day, yes. he uh, brought up someone that if you do it clean because it might not be in that order. Yeah. Got it. So um, this young man, um, he's produced for years. He he was even in his own group, The Silvers. Mm. Um, and I'm talking about Leon Silvers. Wow. Leon yeah. Silvers. That's a good one. I mean, Shalimar, Silvers. The Whispers, yes. Lakeside, the whole yes. Solar yes. catalog. I mean, yes. he's all up and through it. Even Evan the Champagne King. Yes. Um, so, yes. yeah, that's who I'm putting on the floor. Yeah. Okay. I would like to nominate Labouche. Interesting. Oh yes. La da da di da da da. Wow. Be my lover, wanna be my lover. <laughs> oh baby, that was my shit growing up. Nineties dance, like them, <laughs> them. <sighs> we had an episode with Cece Peniston in our early years, mm-hmm. in our early yeah. days. We need to revisit the dance conversation because there's so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. But that's a good, yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Rest in peace. Yeah. I'm going to nominate someone that was also brought up in conversation today that you happen to know. Lisa Fisher. Yes, Lisa. Absolutely. Wow. Who is an insane vocalist, has worked with the best. I don't think we give some of the people that were in front but also behind the scenes enough love. Mm-hmm. Um, she's worked with the best and is the best and inspires everybody. So Lisa Fisher. Yeah. I'm going to nominate Take Six. Mm. Come on, Take. Damn. I love Take Six. Mm-hmm. That's that's my childhood right there. So. Sheesh. Them harmonies are hard. so it's much right. to say. Chuck Harmony. Harmonies. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's built in. <laughs> it's built in. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that, that's, a, that's a heavy duty list. Mm-hmm. Just to recap, we got Rick James, Leon mm-hmm. Silvers, LaBouche, Lisa Fisher. And take six. Okay. Right, so you can vote as many, you can raise your hand as many times for this first round. Okay. Rick James. Hello. Come on. Leon Silvers. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Timon. Uh, <laughs> La Bouche. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> <I mean, I mean. laughs> That's foe. That's foe. <laughs> <laughs> The incomparable Lisa Fisher. That's why I have mm. one in my thing. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Take six. His brother's Brian McKnight in the group. I can't. <laughs> 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 you know, Brian catching strays. Take six. <laughs> catching strays. Brian's yeah. time out McKnight. Yeah. All right, so it's a tie between Lisa Fisher and Rick, Rick James. James. All right, so now, now you can only vote once. So this is okay. how we're going to break this tie. Oh, this is tough. Damn. I got a Motown shirt on. No, no pressure. Uh, let's see here. Lisa Fisher. It's majority. It's, our, it's already been decided at this yeah, point. It's, yeah. You, 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 Lisa Fisher deserves, though. Yes, no, she does. She does. The reason I vote Lisa Fisher is that I think if you compare the two, Rick James certainly gets more praise than Lisa Fisher does. Yeah. 
So that's my reason for it. Although both deserving. But Lisa Fisher, come get your flowers. And also, too, I'd like to say, like I said, when I first got with Badu, I was calling myself the male Lisa Fisher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reason being is because Lisa and I share a duality. And that is being able to step back and blend with other voices. Mm -hmm. And also being able to command Mm. The spotlight. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not easy. You're right. Everybody cannot not, do that. They can't do it. Because every because check that's this out. True. Every background singer can't sing mm-hmm. lead, mm-hmm. and every mm-hmm. lead singer mm-hmm. cannot mm-hmm. blend mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. other voices. That's yeah. right. That's that real talk. Right. So yes, Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> He's like, <this> Lisa. <laughs> Congratulations, Lisa. Lisa Fisher, our winner this week of Esther Rowe Black Excellence Award. Awesome. Yay. We sound crazy. And I know you come and Crazy. He's the pain. Yes. Ugh. Man. Yes. That, song is not, that song is not for the faint of heart. No. no. You are not singing that song no. without putting in some serious work. He's you know what? Pain. I've never seen anyone cover that song or sing it in because a talent show. It's probably not smart to yeah, do that. Yeah. Not, I've seen that. one girl do that at a talent show. She almost nailed it. Mm. Almost. Like she was, it was a close, it was, a, it was, but yeah, no, nah, it's, Lead at least, lead at least. Yeah. Some songs don't need to be covered. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Because who would sing it now? Nobody. With the conviction, though. Like, right. not, conviction, not yeah. saying that someone can access the notes. It's, it's but the conviction. The conviction. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's why she's Lisa Damn Fisher. <laughs> I, honestly, I do want to do my own rendition of that. I would drop the key just to make it tenor friendly. I'd still yeah. hit the whistle, but mm-hmm. I want to make it to where it's like you could I could really be robust yeah, with yeah, my yeah. Your heart. You wanna do it today? Huh. <sighs> okay. I gotta sing tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> booked. <laughs> booked. Okay. Totally booked. You know what I'm saying? Yo, listen, Duran. It, we've been dying to get you on for a long time. Yeah. Obviously, we know how crazy your ass is from our <laughs> studio sessions. And if you don't know, follow him on Twitter because I, I when I tell you I enjoy your Twitter <laughs> Enter- entertainment all day I and wisdom and wisdom and wisdom yeah. and wisdom. Yeah. You see them hands come down like this. Yeah. Listen, you know it's, what it is. It's, it's, it's you time know to listen. It is. Class <laughs> is in session. Right. So listen, anytime you're in Nashville. You have a home here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like you can come and just have a. Co-host. I know where my bedroom is. You, see what I'm saying? <laughs> you have a co-host chair whenever you want to come through. Absolutely. Um, everyone should be supporting Duran Bernard on tour. Yeah, everyone. When the music comes out, follow, tell mad friends and cousins in them about this brilliant. I mean, you, you, there's a mind behind it. There's mm-hmm. a soul yeah. behind this. What's and, the day? Tuesday. Yes, indeed. As B. Scott used to say back in the day, tap your neighbor Tuesday. Who have you told about me? <laughs> right. Tell them. <laughs> tell them about me. Mm-hmm. Put, slip, a, slip a song in, in, in the playlist. You know about Duran? I'm, I'm telling my neighbor. I'm telling my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Dur- okay. yo, yo, Duran. Yes, sir. You know about Duran? Oh, baby, let me tell you. That nigga crazy. <laughs> that nigga crazy. <laughs> he got good ass, too. <laughs> you know, on that note. Ass, oh, no. All on right. That, that note. <laughs> We want to <laughs> make sure you follow us on all platforms <laughs> at We Sound Crazy and right. WeSoundCrazy.com. Right. Special wow. shout out to our producer, Mike Guru Johnson. Thank right. you, Aaron and Tiffany, behind Woo. the camera. Everybody who plays a part in making this a reality. Busy yeah. Music City. Busy Music City for always holding us down. Nashville Absolutely. got our back. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Durand, when we go out, mm-hmm. we allow our very special guest to choose the going out song. Oh, yeah. And that song is whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. But really what we're thinking about is after the conversation we've had, what song takes us out? Let's do Why, 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 Why by Salt. Mm. Until next time, y'all. Thank you, Duran Bernard. We're going out of here. Until yeah, next man. time. Peace. Crazy. <laughs>